Earth, the planet we call our home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. Somewhere in sub-Saharan Africa, the early morning sun rises over the savanna. It is just before the yearly migration, and something other than rain-ripened grass await the oncoming hordes of wildebeest and zebras, a predator, a man-eater. A beast of legend. An undisputed king. In the African country of Tanzania, the region of the Great Serengeti is one of the world's largest and most diverse ecosystems. It's home to hundreds of species of exotic animals of all walks of life. Spread out over an area the size of Belgium, it spans all manners of terrain. From forests and swamps, hills and mountains, wide open grassland, and the great savanna. Considered one of the seven wonders of Africa, it also holds the world's largest population of the great African lion, Panthera leo. Closely related to the tiger, the jaguar, and the leopard. The lion is typically categorized into eight subspecies. Spanning all of Africa, south of the Sahara, and India, the lion is the second largest living cat. They have dominated their habitats for thousands of years as the apex predator. Stemming from a common ancestor of all cats 10 million years ago, the lion first evolved 700,000 years ago. Emerging from southern Africa before migrating north, Fighting into subspecies we know today. Since its inception, the lion has evolved to be perfectly suited for its environment. Tan fur is camouflage against the browns and yellow hues of the sandy rocks and tall grass. muscular lean build for quick dashes and ferocious attacks. A perfect predator. Born to rule. One of the most mythic and instantly recognizable animals on Earth. The lion has always been seen as a symbol for royalty, power, 
respect for the wilderness. A symbol for Africa. A symbol for the wild and untamed. A symbol for the jungle itself. Though often called the king of the jungle, the lion still rarely ventures out into the dense tropical forests. Known to be almost twice the size of a grown man, the male African lion can weigh as much as a quarter of a ton. It is outmatched only by the tiger among the gray cats. Unlike other cats, lions live in hunting packs, or prides, centered around a group of closely related female lionesses, with only one or two resident males. The pride area is often a marked territory focused around a nest or resting ground inhabited by the females. with its fringes guarded vigilantly by the male. Hunting and acquiring food in the pride is typically handled by the females. lighter, faster, and more agile, while the male watches over the cubs. Any prey brought down small enough will be carried back to the pride area. Anything bigger than that is eaten on the spot. Often the prey is consumed over several hours under the cover of darkness. Sprinters more than long distance runners, the lioness hunt in groups slowly stalking their prey from multiple vantage points. Head held low. Shoulders hunched. Still. Before they strike. And before the prey knows what's hit them, single bite to the neck or face, the prey dies from asphyxiation. Though common thought to be primarily ferocious hunters, targeting wildebeest, zebras, and warthogs, Over half of the food acquired is through expert scavenging. <laughs> Few other animals would be foolish enough to contest the lioness's claim to newly fallen prey.
primarily nocturnal. The lion sleeps during most of the day, only to emerge shortly before sunset, ready in search of food. The lion is also the only species of cat where males and females are distinctly different in appearance, with the mature male's distinctive mane readily apparent. The color, texture, and length of the mane can be indicative of a lion's health, as well as the breed. The longer and darker it is, the healthier the animal. The mane is commonly used for intimidation, making it appear larger than it is in the confrontation. This plays a role in defending the pride from solitary nomadic males seeking to join the pride, avoiding direct conflict. If challenged, a resident male may defend his place in the pride to the death, as he is also the father of all existing cubs. If a new male takes the resident male's place, they will often kill the existing cubs to later replace with those of their own line. The lion's mating ritual occurs several times a year. Once the lionesses are in heat, lasting several days with regular intervals. Because the mating act is painful for the female, the male must retain control by force. The male approaches the female from behind, biting her neck to keep her in place. During this period, a lioness may mate with a resident male up to 40 times a day. Both parties often foregoing eating. Consummation, the female rides and rolls around to increase the chance of conception. Whereas the male steers clear, avoiding postcoital aggression from the female. Exactly 110 days later, a litter of one to four cubs is born in the lioness's den. Initially cared for by their mother alone, the cubs are defenseless and highly vulnerable. The cubs are kept in seclusion from the rest of the pride until they are a month or two of age. Born blind and unable to move, the cubs quickly gain the ability not only to crawl, but to run. Much to the dismay of their mother, who constantly has to relocate their den to avoid marking the area with the scent of the cubs. Cubs are often co-parented by other lionesses, as their reproductive cycles often synchronize to allow shared breastfeeding and protection of their young. Two to three years of age, the lions are already considered sexually mature. The 
with many young lions already attempting to mate within their pride. The females are then integrated into the pride. Whereas the males are commonly pushed out by their father to find a new pride. Almost every male lion goes through this phase and are known as nomads, wandering the wilderness, trying to find a pride with a male weak enough to challenge. Life in the Serengeti is very perilous. As many as 80% of all cubs die before reaching adulthood from either starvation or predation. Jackals, hyenas, leopards, martial eagles, snakes are among a young lion cub's many foes. The mortality rate of even adult lions is also notably high due to territorial conflicts with other prides as well as human intervention and hunting. Once spread out across Europe, North Africa, and Asia Minor, the lion today has been reduced to a small population south of the Sahara of 16,000 individuals. And an endangered population of only 400 specimens in India. Today, with less and less of the African wilderness capable of sustaining the surrounding wildlife, combined with the intense rivalry from the prosperous hyenas. Illnesses stemming from a limited population plagued by inbreeding. And extensive poaching. Lions are now considered a vulnerable species with several subspecies considered endangered and on the verge of extinction. Starting already in ancient Egypt, lions were hunted for sport and kept in cages and enslaved as exotic status symbols. the Romans going so far as to engage lions in gladiator games, commonly sacrificing Christian martyrs to be eaten alive by lions in the arena. Their natural habitat has been drastically reduced following the colonization and increased urbanization of Africa starting in the 19th century. Widespread stories of their ferociousness as man-eaters, lions were extensively hunted and killed to protect the emerging slave and ivory trade. With a notable instance along the Tsavo River in Kenya in 1898, Two rare and unusually large and maneless male lions attacked and killed three dozen railroad workers. They were nicknamed the Ghost and the Darkness by the workers who feared them with great superstition and the story seeped into African legend. a story that contributed greatly to the Western fears of the savage lion from the dark continent. The 
large portion of the lion population worldwide are now confined to zoos and wildlife parks. Many growing obese and increasingly domesticated. No longer able to survive in the wild frequently made part of public entertainment, such as lion taming and circus shows. I'm not afraid of nothing. What do you do? I'm a pretty brave kid. I don't care about kittens. I don't care how big the kittens are. Hey, Buzz, get those nails filed. They hurt. though it is uncommon for lions to hunt humans. As a result of prey depletion and human settlements expanding into bush country. Some lions have turned to people as a source of food. Estimates range up to 70 people per year in Tanzania alone are killed and eaten by wild lions. With hundreds of local villagers and tourists attacked and killed across the continent. Because of this, Lion hunting is again on the rise with the rapidly expanding online black market for teeth, hides, and other trophies. The king of the jungle is on the brink of being a thing of the past. But for now, it remains one of the last wild predators on Earth.